Hi, my name is Ravi Kamalti, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, SVAT, Bangalore. So today I am here to explain the tet problems on tetrahedron, projection of solids in that problems on tetrahedron. So tetrahedron means you must remember either it contain a four equilateral triangles, four equilateral triangles combined together we call it as a tetrahedron. So tetrahedron first problem, yeah. So tetrahedron of 55 mm sides rest on one of its corner such that edge containing edge such that an edge containing that corner is inclined to HP at 50 degree and VP at 30 degree drop projection. See tetrahedron, yeah. If you're looking from top of an object, the tetrahedron look like a equilateral triangle. So that 55 mm equilateral triangle we have to construct first and corner towards your right hand side, okay? Equilateral triangle, then all diagonal lines are visible, yeah. Okay, all diagonal lines are visible and naming is done. So C will be a corner. Okay, now so next draw projection. See, is very important here. See, in the tetrahedron, we always take 55 mm true length. Okay, from the corner position, from the corner onwards. You should not take 55 mm true length from the edge. Okay, that is very very important. We have to take a 55 mm true length from the corner onwards. Okay. So this is a corner, okay. This is a projection line. You can observe, okay. So projection line, okay. Uh, then you can take a uh, 55 mm true length, okay. So 55 mm true length from here, okay. You cut an arc on the center line. Then you have to join all the other points, okay. So now, if looking from front of an object, also it looks like a triangle, but only one side it is having a true length. That one side is from the corner, okay. So from the corner side, it will be having a true length, okay, 55 mm. Next, here the edge containing that corner is inclined to HP at 50 degree, which is a edge. See, edge containing the corner. This is a corner. So this corner containing a edge means this edge is inclined to HP at 50 degree. So this edge is inclined to HP at 50 degree. We have to take inclination with 50 degree HP. Okay, then you you have to place and you have to convert it back. Okay, you have to rotate it. Okay, now. Next, we have to draw projection line downward. Yeah. Next, if you are looking from top of an object, all outer edges are visible. Yeah. All outer edges are visible. Next, if you are looking from top of an object, this point C is invisible. So, joining from point C to any other point, you have to use a invisible edges because C is a invisible. Okay. Yeah. The red color lines indicates that invisible edges. Okay. Yeah. So next is you we have to find out whether this problem is a locus or without locus. Yes. See how oh, previously we have we have seen that the problems are locus means the axis is inclined to both the plane. If axis is inclined to both the plane, we understood that the problems are locus problem. Yes, here uh, in this problem, the edge is inclined to both the plane. It is a locus or without locus? Yes, it is a locus because Axis is inclined means any one is inclined to both the plane. Here edge is inclined to both the plane. Okay, so hence it is a locus problem. We have to find out the beta angle for this. Okay, so first take a 30 degree with VP, then use a true length. See, this is a true length 55 mm. Means C to O1 is a true length. So true length, draw locus line. Okay, and apparent length is C to O1. So this apparent length from this point, we have to cut an arc on a locus line. Then we have to extend up to a xy line okay yeah extended then you have to place c to o1 c to o1 on this beta angle okay you have to place it okay yeah we are placed next the naming will be copied same okay so whatever the next thing you have to extend the projection and upward okay so projection and upward yeah here very very important thing is okay see if you looking from bottom of an object the all other edges are visible only a to o is invisible because this edges is away from the observer okay so that we will represent in the red line see this a to o1 is invisible edges okay so this complete the tetrahedron problem that to in, you know locus problem okay we'll see the next problem next problem next tetrahedron problem see 40 mm sides rest on edge okay so rest on sides on hp so previously we have placed corner Okay, here we have to place H sides on HP. This side is parallel to VP and 40 mm away from it means this is a final position. So first we'll see first position and then next is uh, for, uh, next is what it is tilted about the resting side means resting side such that 
base containing the edge is inclined 30 degree to HP draw projection. Yeah, first we have to construct edge, edge towards your right hand side, all diagonal lines are visible. Yeah. So, what next? You have to take a 40 mm, this is 40 mm triangle, then you have to take a 40 mm from the corner. So, A is a corner, previously we have taken corner in right side, here corner in left side. So, we have to take from A, then you have to cut an arc, okay, you have to cut an arc, then you have to join. So, this is a uh, top front view, okay. So, this complete the first position of tetrahedron problem. Is here you have to understand that uh, which is inclined to HP, okay. So, it is tilted about the head resting side means the C, C is a rest, a C and B is a resting side means this C and C to O and B to O is tilted about 30 degree to HP, yeah, base is 30 degree to HP, you can see base, which is the base? A, this is a base, okay. This base, okay, is tilted about the 30 degree to HP, yeah, this base is inclined, okay, not B to O or C to O, okay, you have to incline this base, okay, base is inclined to HP at 30 degree, please be careful, be careful, the base is inclined to HP at 30 degree. So, some students, will, what you will do, you will take this base, you know, you will take this uh, edge and then you will incline to a 30 degree, that is very wrong, okay. Yeah, you have to draw projection line upward, uh, downward, okay, and you have to find out uh, which are invisible and invisible edges, which are invisible, so B, C, B to O and C to O are invisible, okay, but we will see whether it is a outer edges or invisible edges, okay, you can see, see this is a invisible, okay, all other are visible edges, okay. So, this comes into the second position and what you will do, see the base edge, si this side is parallel means this side C to B are parallel to the XY line, but away from 40 mm away from it, yeah, 40 mm away from it, you take a 40 mm, then you can take this B to C and parallel, make it parallel in place, that is it, okay. So, next draw projection line upward, okay. And here you have to find out the which are visible and which are invisible edges, okay. See, if you are looking from top bottom of an object, all edges, tetrahedron, all edges are visible, okay. So, that is why we have drawn all edges are invisible line, okay. So, this completes the second problem. See, in the second problem is very important, the base is inclined. But in previous problem, edge containing that corner is inclined. See, these two are very, very important. Okay, so tetrahedron out of these two, anyone is uh, man, you know, is regularly coming in the examination. Okay, so please, please be careful. And here, very important thing is, it, uh, usually you will construct the top view, but you will make a mistake while constructing the front view because you will not take 50, uh, 40 mm means true length from A, but you will take true length from all other sides. Okay, that is very, very wrong. So you have to take a true length from the corner side only. So, if A is a corner, you have to take true length from the corner, okay, take a true length, cut an arc, then you can join. If it is a C is a corner side, you have to take a C, okay, and true length, you can cut an arc, then you have to join, okay. So, that is a tetrahedron, okay, thank you.